gutter, a prisoner of the gutters. Condemned by every syllable she utters. By right she should be taken out and hung for the cold-blooded murder of the English tongue. Yeah, oh, heavens, what a noise. This is what the British population calls an elementary education. Mr. Cobb, sir, I think you've picked a poor example. Have I? Hear them down in Soho Square, dropping H's everywhere, speaking English any way they like. You, sir, did you go to school? Yeah, what did you take before, fool? And no one taught him take instead of type. Hear a Yorkshireman or worse, hear a Cornishman converse, I'd rather hear a choir singing flat. Chickens cackling in a barn, just like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Now I ask you, sir, what sort of word is that? It's yeah and gone that keep her in her place. Not her wretched clothes and dirty face. Oh, why can't the English teach their children how to speak? This noble class distinction by now should be antique. If you spoke as she does, sir, instead of the way you do, why, you might be selling flowers to... I beg your pardon! An Englishman's way of speaking absolutely classifies him. The moment he talks, he makes some other Englishman despise him. Oh, uncommon language I'm afraid we'll never get. Oh, why can't the English learn to set a good example to people whose English is painful to your ears? The Scotch and the Irish bring you close to tears. They're even at places where English completely disappeared. Well, in America, they haven't used it for years. Oh, why can't the English teach their children how to speak? No! Norwegians learn Norwegian, the Greeks are taught their Greek. In France, every Frenchman knows his language from A to Z. The French don't care what they do, actually, as long as they pronounce it properly. <laughs> Arabians learn Arabian with the speed of summer lightning, and the Hebrews learn it backwards, which is absolutely frightening. But use proper English, you're regarded as a freak. Oh, why can't the English? Why can't the English learn to speak? Again. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. What was that? The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. Again. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. I think she's got it. I think she's got it! <laughs> grown accustomed to her face. She almost makes the day begin. I've grown accustomed to the tune. She whistles night and noon. Her smiles, her frowns, her ups, her downs are second nature to me now. Like breathing out and breathing in. I was serenely independent and content before we met But surely I can always be that way again And yet I've grown accustomed to her looks Accustomed to her voice Accustomed to her face Mary Freddy, what an infantile idea, what a heartless, wicked, brainless thing to do. <laughs> She'll regret it. She'll regret it. It's doomed before they even take the vow. I can see her now, Mrs. Freddy Einsford Hill, in a wretched little flat above a store. I can see her now, not a penny in the till, and a bill collector 
beating at the door. She'll try to teach the things I taught her and end up selling flowers instead, begging for a bread and water while her husband has his breakfast in bed. In a year or so, when she's prematurely grey and the blossom in her cheek has turned to chalk, she'll come home and lo, he'll have up and run away with a social climbing heiress from New York. Poor Eliza. How simply frightful. How humiliating. How delightful. How poignant it will be on that inevitable night when she hammers on my door in tears and rags. Miserable and lonely, repentant and contrite. Will I take her in or hurl her to the wolves? Give her kindness or the treatment she deserves? Will I take her back or throw the baggage out? I'm a most forgiving man. The sort who never would, ever could. Take a position and staunchly never bow. Just a most forgiving man. But I shall never take her back. If she were crawling on her knees, let her promise to atone, let her shiver, let her moan. I will slam the door and let that hell cat free. Marry Freddy. Ah! Well, I'm so used to hear her say good morning every day. Her joys, her woes, her highs, her lows, a second nature. To me now, like breathing out and breathing in. I'm very grateful she's a woman and so easy to forget. <laughs> Rather like a habit one can always break. And yet, I've grown accustomed to the trace of something in the air. Accustomed to her face.